everyone, welcome to our Crazy Life Scotland, it's Fiona here and today I'm taking you on my first ever driving vlog. I've just got a new um, phone holder for the car so I thought I would try it out and I am heading off, Abby's got an appointment this afternoon so I thought I would leave a little bit earlier and go on a bit of a shopping mission. Um, Jack's been working funny hours recently, it's actually night shift just now which is why I don't mind leaving the dogs a wee bit longer um, and because he's been working a lot of weekends and things it's put our shopping schedule kind of out of whack so I decided that it would be a good idea to do a bit of a top up shop but usually shop on a Sunday and then any wee bits and pieces like fresh fruit and things that we need Jack picks up on his way home from work through the week However, it was Friday that we shopped last week and today is Thursday, so we are running pretty bare at the moment. Um, so, and with Jack being night shift, it's not as easy for him to nip into the shops and things. So, I'm going to go to Farm Foods. I got a flyer from them through the door, just basically telling you different things that we do. And it had some vouchers on it, so if I spend £25, I'll get £2.50 off. I'm not convinced that I will spend all that, but at least I know there's a voucher there if I do. And then there's a Waitrose right across the road from Abbey School. It's a place I don't normally go because I find it quite expensive. But I thought, if I've got time while I'm waiting for her to come out, I'll nip into Waitrose and get any wee bits and pieces that I can't get in Iceland. Eh, not Iceland, Farm Foods. And then I'm hoping, after Abby's appointment, I'm hoping we'll have time for a little trip round p &Ms. Sorry if this video it, editing looks a bit jumpy. My teeth are just not playing the game today. They keep falling out. So I keep having to stop mid-sentence. Um, yeah, so I am hopefully going to be in M's because tomorrow I've got my first ever chair yoga session and I'm looking forward to giving that a go. But I realised that I've not got a water bottle because I'm in the house most of the time. Yeah, so I'm going to look to see if they've got a nice water bottle. Um, to be fair, I really, because I won't use it that often, I'm in the house a lot, um, I don't want to spend the money on the hydrate, mate. I don't really think they're worth it, I think you're paying for the name. Um, and just any bottle will be fine, it's really just for me to take when I'm out and about. Because I'm trying so hard to go back to um, drinking diluting juice through the day instead of my fizzy pot because I was doing well before Christmas. And now that um, I got back into the habit of drinking my Pepsi Max constantly over the holidays, I'm finding it really hard to get back into the swing of drinking diluting juice. So I'm really needing to get back into that habit again. So hopefully if I get a nice bottle, that will help me out with that as well. So that is the plan for just now. Um, so my first stop is Farm Foods and it's about... Where am I just now? I'd say it's probably about 25 minutes from here. <laughs> We're out in the sticks. We're a while from anywhere. Um, so I won't keep rabbiting on at you um, until I get there. I'll pop this off just now and I'll catch up with you when I get to Farm Foods. Bye! Okay, so that's me arrived at Farm Foods. I'm going to nip in. I won't take you in with me because trying to navigate a wheelchair and a basket is hard enough without trying to use a phone at the same time. So I'll catch up with you when I come out. Bye! Well, I've just been into Farm Foods and that was a bit of a disaster. Um, remind me, sorry I'm out of breath just getting in the car. Remind me not to go to Farm Foods on my own again. It's not a very wheelchair friendly place at all. The aisles are wide enough but everything's so deep in the freezers or high on the shelves and there's no sort of in between so I didn't get a lot of what I needed because a lot of it was just out of reach for me and I don't mind asking people who are passing once or twice but to have to ask them to get me everything um, isn't good so basically pretty much everything that I did get I had to ask somebody to help me with um, and people are lovely don't get me wrong they're really nice and they're always really helpful but I just I don't like having to do that all the time so I'm going to head to Waitrose now and then I'll show you what I got here because there's someone waiting to get into this disabled space so I don't want to hold them up I'll see you soon right that's me at Waitrose I'm going to nip in I'm actually running short of time so I was planning to show you everything that I got um, while I was in the car 
but I think I'll need to wait till I get home because as usual I've been dithering and I'm running out of time. <laughs> so I'll catch up with you later on either when I get to B&M's or when I get home and I'll show you what I bought. See you soon. Hi everyone, it's a bit later now and Abby's with me. Hello Abby! <laughs> She's had her appointment. Um, it took a lot later, a lot later, it took a lot longer than expected but I don't care, I'm still going to be a name. <laughs> so <laughs> I won't have time to vlog when I'm there but I will definitely catch up with you when we get home and show you all the little treasures that we got. Right, I'll see you soon. Bye! Okay, so as you can see it's almost ten past five. We are on our way home from B&M's and Abby asked me to stop here. I don't know if you can see what it says. It's the Curry Club. Yes, Abby decided that she wanted a takeaway and I am starving and I'm being so good. I just wanted to let you know it's ten past five. I've not had anything to eat since half past twelve and I am resisting a takeaway. Go me! Woohoo! Okay, so it's almost five past seven. I'm home. I've had my dinner and I thought I'd show you what I got. So, B&M first. I got a new frying pan with a free spatula. Now, it's a nine inch frying pan because the small one that I had before is ruined by the lovely fry light. And I made an omelette in it yesterday and it all stuck and just wouldn't clean off. So, I thought, no, nope, bin and get a new one. And £2.99. It's a bargain. It might not last that long, but who cares if it's only £2.99. We needed soap for the bathroom, and of course you take a teenager with you, you don't get lovely moisturising soap, you get strawberry lacy soap. Lovely. I thought I'd better get some razors to um, <coughs> tidy my legs up a bit if I'm going to be wearing leggings tomorrow to go out. Mm -hmm. Say no more. Uh, I got some red kidney beans in salt water. These are a free food and a protein on Slimming World. They're going in tomorrow's chilli. I got some chocolate straws for Brooke, but I do believe, I think they're actually not too high in sins. Hold on. They are 23 calories, so about one sin for the straw. So I'm not really keen on it, but you could always have that if you had any healthy extra A milk left over. That would be a nice way to drink it. But they're for Brooke anyway. I got some flash wipes. Flash! Ah! Cleans up the impossible. I hated that advert with a passion. So I don't know why I'm singing it. I got them. It's a big, big thing of wipes for... It was 120 wipes for £1.49, which wasn't bad. Um, the razors were a pound. The soap was a pound. The straws were... 39 pence, which isn't bad. The tin of kidney beans was only 29 pence, bargain. And last but not least, I got my bottle. There it is. A fairly plain, straightforward bottle, but it's got the fruit infuser bit in it. So I thought if I put some frozen fruit in there and then put my diluting juice in, not only will it help to keep it cold, but as the fruit defrosts, it'll all infuse into the, the diluting juice and it'll be lovely and that was only 2 .99 and it's got a wee quite a secure flip up lid so I'm quite impressed with that hold on I'll open it and let you see yep so that's it with the lid off it's just a very simple spout so you wouldn't want to knock it over I'm sure it would spill everywhere but generally once it's closed it looks secure enough. So that is what I got from B&M Bargains. Now I'm going to get out of the freezer what I put away when I came in so it didn't all defrost and show you what I got in farm foods. Hold on. Okay, farm foods. Now, like I said, when I got back in the car, I didn't get much because it was very, very difficult for me to access things. But I got some frozen fruit. I got a bag of raspberries, blackberries, and strawberries they are all speed foods and they were three for five pounds i love frozen fruit because a in the winter here the um fresh fruit fresh berries aren't very nice but also i love it when they defrost and you get all the sauce from them yum i got 
a pack of 40 seafood sticks. Now, these are free on Sonnen World, and it was only one ninety nine. Now, they are frozen, but you only need to defrost them for two to three hours at room temperature. And then once they're defrosted, you've got 24 hours to use them. So I thought that's ideal um, just to have a few of them out a day um, for snacking on if I'm feeling peckish. And the most exciting one, I got some Brayer's Delights High Protein Ice Cream Cookies and Cream. Now these are, this is three cents per hundred mils. And I'm really looking forward to trying that. Now I've, I've not had any, sin, oh no, I've had one sin today. So I think I'm going to try some of that tonight. Yum yum, with some of the frozen fruit. Right, I'm going to put this back in the freezer and then I'll come with my Waitrose haul. Bear with me. Okay, now what I got from Waitrose. Unfortunately, I can't find my receipt, so I don't know how much everything was. But what I do know is, it's a lot more expensive than Asda. Um, so I just got the bare essentials that I needed. Okay, I got some spinach. I do prefer baby spinach, but that'll be fine. Um, Brooke, <laughs> have you been a nuisance? Are you playing the Molly? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and Rana's just lying there all depressed. Hello, big boy. He's depressed because daddy's away to work. Oh. Sorry, I digress as normal. Yep, so spinach is a speed food and that's brilliant to add to anything to add extra speed. I got some baby corn, which is a speed food. Now, normal sweet corn isn't, but uh, normal sweet corn is a free food, but not a speed food. Baby corn is a speed food. That is great for stir fries and things, but I'm going to add it into my chilli tomorrow. Talking about chilli, I needed chilli for the mince that I'm going to make tomorrow. Now, this little tiny pack of mince, it is the uh, 5% fat, so it's free on Sonny Morrow. £3.33 for that tiny wee bit of mince. And that was it reduced from five pounds. Really? Wow, that's expensive. Is it just me or is that expensive? I got my cocoa dairy free drink, which is 400 mils for your healthy extra A. I love that in my cereal in the morning. I got some tomatoes, which again, another speed food, which is excellent to bulk things out. I got Baby Bells, now I love these. These, you get two of them for a healthy extra A. You get three of the light ones, but I prefer the full fat ones, so I would rather just have two of them than three of the light ones. And these are, oh, they're quite expensive everywhere, but they were doing a multi-buy deal on them, so I think it was two for five pounds. No, I can't remember how much it was, to be honest. But it was definitely a decent multi-deal, so... I got the two of them and what I've been finding is 400 mils of the milk is more than enough for one of my healthy extra A's so quite often at night as a snack I'll have two of these for my second healthy extra A and they're ni nice and filling. I got a pack of red onions which are a speed food. I got the New York Bakery Co. Soft Seeded Bagel Thins, which is a healthy extra B. You get one of them. And I've not had them before, but I'm going to try them. I think it'll be lovely either dipped in soup or to make a nice bacon and egg bagel in the morning or for brunch. And last but not least, I got some mushrooms. Another speed food. Ideal. So that's what I got today. So thank you very much for bearing with me with this rather strange vlog today. It was a bit of everything really, wasn't it? I will be coming to you with another vlog tomorrow. It's going to be a sort of day in the life stroke and um, what I eat in a day because it's my big um, introduction to chair yoga tomorrow. So I thought I would maybe vlog it and try and calm my nerves a little bit. <laughs> so I will see you tomorrow for that. I hope you've enjoyed this. I'll see you later. Bye!